<clears throat> so we got the Moonstone back, and learned where it was the past few months. Um, that's right, Arthur, but do you want to know where the Moonstone came from? Yes, Paul. I would very much like to know where the Moonstone began its journey. Well, you're in luck, because Donnie has discovered the origin of the Moonstone. That's right. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jack, it's time for one more history lesson. So, it took a while, but... After scouring the East India Trading Company's records, I was able to determine that the cargo on the Mirthweight belonged to Wesley Davenport, a colonel in the EIC. Once Donnie made that discovery, I was able to figure out that Mr. Kipper was working on behalf of the Davenport heirs, who had been searching for the Stolen Stone for more than two centuries. So you'd think, huh? It's their diamond. Let's just give it back, right? Wrong. Wrong. Wesley Davenport was a key figure in the siege of Serengapatam, the battle which ended the Fourth Anglo-Missir War in India, which happened to take place in... Wait for it. 1799. 1799. After the EIC... After the EIC defeated Tipu Sultan, the British soldiers looted and pillaged the city so badly that many were flogged and a few were actually hanged for their actions. Intense. Right? <laughs> but here's the kicker. Among the looted ruins was the sacred temple to Chandra, the Hindu god of the moon. Now it... Uh... Took a lot of digging, but I found a few references to a sacred stone that was taken during the conflict. Oh, the Moonstone! I get it now. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> it's just hot chocolate. Family recipe? Swiss Miss. Josette decided that the most appropriate thing to do was to donate the Moonstone to the National Museum of India. And even though they didn't have to, the museum is expressing their generosity with quite a bit of money. Which will be generously given by the Marshall Estate to St. Agatha's. Which also means we're finally free of that cursed gem. Do you have an oil for curses? <laughs> <laughs> do not underestimate the power of natural remedies. Speaking of the Moonstone, Reverend Stoddard, Mr. Pickering, Josette is in the office and the documents are ready to be signed. Oh, great. I'll be in the den when you're done, Arthur. Excellent. Uh, I brought my computer this time. That's always a good step one. <laughs> what? I'm tutoring him. Giving back or whatever. I think it's great. Well, I'm afraid I really must be off. Thank Josette for her generous order of Red Hurricane. She wanted to make sure you each get a vial. Especially you. But no, you're all entitled to the friends and family discount. Just enter promo code M-O. Thank you so much, Andrea. Yes, this way, Miss Clack. Oh, uh, remember to thank Josette. Absolutely. <laughs> S-T-O-N-E! It's too much personality for one person. Maya, while you're here, did you want to move rooms for fall semester? I like where I am. Okay. Candy? Thanks. Of course. You're leaving? Just on my way to Davidson's. Josa asked me to interview potential boarders for next year. I'll be back at school, as will Maya, but we have a room opening up, so we have extra space. I know you'll choose the right person. Josette said the same thing. 
Don't go without saying goodbye. I won't. I promise. Okay. You're leaving? You're staying? Second chances, I guess. I'm glad. I know that you're not happy with me for letting Grayson walk. A lot of people feel the way you do. I don't mind taking the fall for you, clearly, but not for him. He should have come forward. Yeah, but he's paying for it now. More than you know. What do you mean? He was doxxed. Oh. It wasn't me. Okay. But I'm not upset about it. He deserves worse. Yeah. Just keep an eye out for him. For me. I'm gonna... Hey, um... Thank you. Things are slowly getting back to normal. You probably heard Candy mention something about... Oh, I'm... I whoa, just... whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, you do not get to skate past. Not like, like this. <clears throat> yep, in here, on the couch. House? Yes, Miss Lawrence? <clears throat> it's Donnie. Donnie? I can't help but notice that there's something a little different about you. <clears throat> uh, I, I thought you might. Okay. I got a new wax for my shoes, and I must say it has a very no, nice uh, 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 uh. reflection. <clears throat> I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to dinner with Josette. To dinner, as in... <laughs> A date. Finally! <laughs> oh, well, I'm so happy for you, House. And I for you. Mm. <sighs> okay, tell me about this date. Well, we're going to Teresa's diner. Mm. Then I'm taking him to Yalen's bookseller, and we're gonna pick out a novel, mm. and we're gonna read in the Rose Garden. My candlelight. The front rose garden. Looking <laughs> sharp, house. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Stoddard. It's just Paul. Looks like we're good to go from a paperwork standpoint. I'll get these sent tomorrow. Wonderful. Thank you, Arthur. No, Josette. Thank you for taking the risk and letting me back in this house and allowing me to help. Relationships are always a risk, but usually worth the investment. You were no different. Arthur, you're always welcome here. Thank you, House. It means a great deal. You ready to go? Ready and starving. Have fun, you two. And uh, try to pick something other than Robinson Crusoe. Oh, you can never get enough Robinson Crusoe. Well, I'll be in the den. Oh, what's today's lesson? Learning about memes and gifs. Gifs? How do you say it? It's gifs. You know what? Maya can help you. Great. See you in a bit. <laughs> he has really come a long way. Yeah, he sent me a selfie the other day, and I think he did it on purpose this time. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so, so, hey, hey. Uh, speaking of changes, I have been thinking a lot about the future, and I can't live with Josette for forever, so I have been looking at apartments in your area, 
in your building, maybe. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Arthur is talking about opening up a practice, and he asked me if I'd be interested in partnering with him. You hate law. Yeah, yeah, I do. But it's here, and it's with people I like, and it's near you. Oh, I don't know. I could get a job at Davidson's and work my way up. I mean, free coffee. Yeah, so. so. What do you think, honestly? Honestly? Mm hmm I would never ask you to move here because of me. I mean, it's a small town, maybe it's too small. I mean, I don't know what your future could be here. Hey, Paul, <laughs> you are my future. Yeah, I mean, or you're at least a part of it. I'm with you for the long term. Same. Look, I don't care where I am, as long as I'm with you. Are you sure about that? Yeah, why? <clears throat> because I have a friend who works at a school in Korea who's looking for new teachers. <clears throat> Korea? Yeah, I think we could both go. You would leave St. Agatha's. I mean, you know what's been on my mind. Um, I'm proud of what I've done at St. Agatha's, but the root of my work is helping people, and mm -hmm. I can do that anywhere. And I'm ready for something new. I mean, it, okay, it would be an adventure. Well, life with you will always be an adventure. Yeah, uh, especially if in two years I, I don't know, sleepwalk and steal another $11 million diamond. Well, that, that won't happen. Oh, no, why not? I mean, I'm a light sleeper, <gasps> so. Paul Stoddard. Yeah. Two years is a long time for two best friends to be together. I mean, we could elope tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow? Yeah, oh, okay, to? yeah, I mean, who's gonna ask? Is it you, me? You just learned how to say I love you, so I'm guessing it's me. <gasps> That's what you think. Uh, wait, where are you going? I'm gonna get some cereal. Mm-hmm. Or am I? I guess it's a mystery. Uh, hmm. Actually, there are no more mysteries allowed in this house, so... So I think this is it. <laughs> Thank you. Jack for organizing all of these crazy videos. And thank you, Collective Detective, for joining us week in and week out, for helping solve the riddle, for sending me notes when I needed them, for just being there. <laughs> I've grown so much over the last few months. So thank you for being a part of that. Ooh, another mystery in the books. It's been fun, and I'm excited to see what other adventures are just around the corner. Bye, Jack. I'll see you soon. <laughs>